So I'm in a wildlife area in Coshocton County now. And uh, here is a coal tipple. Or I think it's a coal tipple. It's something correlated, I'm sure. Don't know exactly what. Um, but yeah, it's, it's giant. And uh, should be pretty cool to explore once I get up there. I don't know too much about this in terms of the history of it. Not sure really when it was built. Probably shut down in the 50s, like all the coal mines in the area did. Whole bunch of coal here. This place is obviously no secret. I mean, that path is pretty well cut down and looks like we obviously got a bonfire pit here. All the beer cans in the world. Pretty cool. That little structure right there. This is a really rough guess, but I'd say maybe it was built late 1800s, really early 20th century, possibly. Pretty impressive. It's all wood. It's crazy seeing such giant all wooden structures. Got some family pictures. All melted together. Robinson. I've never seen a Robinson block before. I don't know where that would be. Alright. Let me get up there. Kind of sad that the sun came out. I was looking forward to getting some moody pictures with the clouds, but it's all good. Looks like it's going to stay pretty clear the rest of the time. But that's okay. We got quite a bit of stuff up here too, wow. Bunch of collapsed stuff. Here's the entrance. I don't know that I'm gonna go in here. Looks a little sketchier than I'd like. Guess we'll see. Well, I went ahead and did it. All right. 
reckon I am not gonna go over there, probably. You can see how many levels there are to this thing. Got a staircase over there. We can get up to this level. And it looks like we got one more level. No access to it. Just the stairs and or ladder is gone. I think it was over here too. And now you can see. Just looking down where all the coal would have been. This little basin as well. Pretty crazy. Not the only one, obviously, to come in here. Jillian has visited uh, at some point. Class of 22 is here. Very nice. Decided to come over here anyway. Boards. I mean, there's quite a few missing. But what boards are here are, they, they seem pretty, pretty sturdy. They're not horrible. This thing creaks so much. <laughs> Crazy to imagine the working conditions the uh, people would have had to endure in here. Would have been so hot, probably like all the time, especially in the summer with being like 80s or 90s with humidity. There'd have been no breeze. It's hard to imagine. But, all right, I'm gonna head out now. Go look at those other buildings that are collapsed back there. Very careful. That is so sketchy. I would not recommend doing that. Probably not gonna be all too much to see here. In terms of identifiable stuff, it's all just a jumbled mess of giant timbers and concrete sheet metal. So many giant timbers. Like, I don't know. The virgin woods that would have been here when they were building this to get those giant timbers. Those trees had to be just giant. Lots of thorn bushes. I'm not sure what purpose these would have served exactly. I wish I were more familiar with how a coal tipple works in general, because then I could explain what we were looking at over there. Let's see here. Looks like we got another little concrete structure I could go up, that retaining wall, or part of the foundation of a building that obviously is no longer standing as we're <laughs> in its remains. Here's something. Like a hook, type of hook rather. Right, I'm gonna keep wandering around. 
whatever this thing was, it was pretty big itself. I mean, this was all probably all connected with this and that jumble of timber. On top of this now. So much stuff everywhere. Good thing I came late fall. This would be impossible in the summer. I would pass for sure. So I took a very poor route. <laughs> so many thorns. But we are at the bottom now again. Here's this building. Not sure what to think of it. DF brick wood. I figure out what that says. Oh, Rick. Dietrich? I don't know. Kind of hard to read. There's inside. Go ahead and check it out. I don't know what this thing would have been. I have no idea. Interesting. A lot of brick. Pasta from Canton. From that area, around Stark County. Interesting. Say Kashakton? No. That kind of no. I don't think it says Kashakton. I do think there's Kashakton block. I think that did exist, but I don't think any of this is Kashakton block. Well, I'm glad the clouds came back. Well, I guess I'm gonna like, finish up taking pictures out here and then get back on the road and find the next spot to look at. Pretty cool.